Hey everybody, we are back after a short little break over the holidays and uh, we're just about to start a new year. Alan, you believe that it's already been a year, already gone. I mean, you know, I know it's cliche to say, everybody says as you get older, time flies and, and whatnot, but uh, it's just crazy how, how, how quickly that uh, how things move. I mean, we're in 2023 already. It's one of those things that go faster as you get older, or at least that's my perspective, and most likely a lot of people out there. Time that you are aware of your surroundings or are busy or got a lot of things on your plate, things start going like faster and faster, and you're, wait, wait, slow down, slow down. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, though, you know what, uh, the, the time, you're right, you're 100%, and, and it, it just seems to go by, but... How come the work week seems to go by real slow and the weekend goes by real fast? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I want it to go fast, uh, it goes slow. But uh, no, it's, just, it's it's really crazy. I know that there's a bunch of studies as far as our perception of time on how people delay, that, what would be the correct word, delay or shrink their immediate perception of the transcurrence of time and how that's associated with our how our brain is engaged with our tasks and it, it's a very interesting uh, conversation but i guess we, we're not experts in the topic yeah i mean it, 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 exactly uh i you know i don't get into too much of the nuances as far as the um you know the mental aspect or the psychology or, or whatever of you know you know time and whatnot but uh oh I, yeah I, so I, I love kind of scratching that part of my head in a way even if i'm not fully engaged in it if i'm like for example multitasking and doing like some research or listening to something I, either someone doing like a video essay or some sort of uh, analysis on it uh, while i'm doing something else that it, maybe that's why I have trouble remembering like the the nuances unless I'm do like a paper or some summary on it. But if I'm just kind of uh, listening to it to have it on the back of my mind, I can pull it off as reference. Kind of uh, doing an indexing. Like, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, like oh, I remember may... this from there, and I go look for it, and then I can oh, then I know what to look for, even though I don't have the information accessible. I guess a bit of a te <laughs> right. te techie talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's 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 pretty crazy. You know. um, you know, when you when you start really getting into in depth thinking about a lot of these different aspects, you know, obviously time, you know, time space and uh, or space time or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, if you want to even go deeper and, you know, how 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 we all came to existence and all the other good stuff, it, it's, it's definitely real, real uh, brain racking. It, it, uh, I, you know, like you, I, I, you know, sometimes I do like to give that that portion of my brain a little bit of work as far as thinking about it. But then sometimes it's like, oh. <laughs> you know don't go there 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 <laughs> uh, i you you do know who the neil degrasse tyson is huh yeah of course yeah yeah, yeah. i've uh seen it is uh the show that he re he remade uh, um what was the cosmos i think was the name of the show that uh he did that it was originally carl sagan did yeah uh, that's correct and he got uh, a channel on on youtube called star talk that's also yes. very interesting. They go like snippets of topic on questions that people uh, ask about and talking about time and space and all that. Obviously, someone asked about the MCU and how <laughs> how they actually they, they, they got it right or wrong and they go delve into it. And it's rather interesting for those uh, people that are interested. He actually did a reading at the end of um, the song Exist from Avenged Sevenfold's latest or last album, uh, The Stage. Um, and that song was about the Big Bang, and uh, it was uh, it was their interpretation of the Big Big Bang um, musically, right? And he they, they uh, he did a reading um, at the end of the song that was uh, that was pretty cool. So you knew I was gonna get an Avenged Sevenfold reference in there somewhere, right? No, I, I didn't see that one, uh, <laughs> so I, I had to go back and check it out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, you know. Um, so, you know, starting off the new year, um, first of all, uh, you know, how was your holidays? You enjoy uh, good Christmas, good uh, New Year's? Yeah, it was uh, pretty quiet and all that. I, I was basically watching movies, uh, but 
Uh, I think I, I mentioned to you I've uh, been uh, one of my favorite like uh, animation director Satoshi Kon. Uh, there were uh, quite a few movies that he had produced and I still haven't watched. And I took the time to just watch one or two of his movies, including like Tokyo Godfathers and Millennium Actress, um, that I hadn't seen until this point. Obviously, you get your fireworks and people with guns, I guess, uh, shooting outside and making noise. The day, yeah, yeah, the day after. Uh, New Year's, uh, well, the New Year's, to go to a, fr a common friend of ours to their place because we're going to go and see a, a football game. It was almost a three-hour drive, and uh, obviously I didn't stay until late on, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, you know, I'm not a big New Year's Eve person myself. You know, I guess, I you know, I'm not a big, you know, going out and, and, and partying for New Year's. Uh, You know, for for a couple of reasons. One, you know, it's it's crazy, um, and, and two, you know, part of the tradition I have, you know, with uh, you know that that's been since I moved out here, uh, with you know, is you know, you spend that time with your family. So, um, you know, on New Year's uh, Eve, usually uh, we'll go. I'll go over to my parents' house and we'll get have dinner and stuff like that. And then and then on New Year's Day, we we you know, I go over there and, and kick back and relax and. And, you know, we watch uh, TV, uh, you know, this year it was on a Sunday, so there's football on and, um, you know, m maybe watch movies or something like that. So it's, you know, it's a good, nice, relaxing day. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't typically like to go out and, and get, get crazy in the night before, and, um, you know, when I'm, you know, going to be heading over there on the next day. So, well, all of my life, I've celebrated uh, New Year's Eve with my parents and it was usually like, obviously they having music on and. Maybe my uncle would come by, and uh, my grandmother, one or two friends, and we would uh, say our like blessings and we say a few words, like expecting good things out of the new year, and you know, starting with a, a good vibe, uh, regardless of your belief or so. Like obviously saying a prayer and um, just making sure that everyone, both present and absent, were part of the memories and. I'm not forgetting the past. It was a bit of a, a good time, you know. Um, yeah. I. It was usually the, the thing that at the beginning with, with my parents being younger and me being younger as well, uh, I, I would go to go to sleep earlier uh, after midnight and they would still be par partying in the living room. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I... I I would obviously hear them uh, like 3, 4 a.m. like saying goodbye to, to my grandmother or my uncle or anyone else that came to visit. It became like the inverse as time went on. I stayed uh, later and later uh, awake and they started to kind of uh, rally me back uh, like trying to tell people <laughs> like, hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and usually the, day, the, the days after, uh, as I obviously have cleaned the mess, Uh, it would be sort of a very chill, very laying low, like kind of about the same, like just watching movies if there were any uh, marathons or special for some reason. I, I don't know why I remember there being like a uh, James Bond marathon on one of these uh, cable channels. Uh, I, I don't remember which channel it was, a TNT or one of those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But we just watching movies and, and all the fun stuff, well, I guess. The the big one that I liked, that I don't know when it started, but they've been doing it over the past, uh, you, you know, I don't know how many years, is Sci-Fi does a Twilight Zone uh, marathon over okay. New Year's, and it's awesome, and it's the and they, it's the original, you know, the 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 Rod Serling original Twilight Zone, uh, uh, black and white, the black and white, yeah, mm. and uh, oh man, you know, that's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's great. It holds up fantastically. As far as the you know, and, and the materials re always it's relevant to this day, and 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 the, and the stories are just so smart, well written, uh, and and well acted, and it's just so enjoyable. There's you know I've seen the entire series you know a, a couple times, so you can I can always put it on during the marathon, and uh, I'll almost almost always remember the episode and, and what happens, but uh, it just still you know you, you gravitate towards it because it's just so so engaging. Uh, so yeah, how, it's a, it's, how old so they've done that. So how long is the like? When did the Twilight Zone start? Just out of curiosity. Sixty something. In the sixties. Yeah, it was in the sixties. Mm, interesting. 
Yeah, because I, I have, if it's a movie, I have a clear distinction. The first time that I saw something Twilight Zone related is that that always stuck to me was that scene of the, the guy on an airplane and he's sitting right yep. next to the window and he's looking and yep. there's like some sort of a monster or like such a racial being that is damaging yeah. the, the wing of the of the plane and he's like there's something in the, the plane like the wing of the plane like there's something outside and he yep. it, it was the imagery of me remembering clearly that the beast like was summoning thunder and lightning and kind of scratching at the wing and hey there's something out there and people didn't mm -hmm. believe him and at the end they take are taking him away like on a psychrat psychrat yeah uh, yeah psychiatric oh dude I cannot say the word <laughs> Psych psychiatric. psychiatric thank you psychiatric <laughs> <laughs> psychiatric like a bed and when they pan out the the, the shot they actually see the the wing of the um, plane and the turbine yeah and we're all yeah. messed up and it's like oh man you know who that was right uh i forget the face that was william shatner oh the the wait but the the beef or the guy saying there's something in the wing of the plane the guy the guy oh okay yeah oh, in, the, oh, in, the, in the original Yeah, that was Boone man. Th he was very young because I I have yep. this distinct image of him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look at all like him, like being the one he, saying that. He was in two episodes. Uh, as far, I I know for a fact he was in two episodes. Of obviously that one being one of them. I don't. I'm not sure if he was in more, but I'm pretty sure he was, he was in two. And I did. I just looked it up, and it was 1959 actually that it started. Uh, so I was, I pre, was, pre, oh, yeah, but but you were almost on, on it like well, the 60s. I mean, 59 was yep. just one year for <laughs> for yep. the 50s. But it, it, it's one of those shows that definitely uh, scratch your mind. I, I I at some point got them mixed up between Tales from the Crypt and Twilight Zone because you know that sometimes the Twilight Zone could get a bit creepy. Uh, yes. Um, some other story were uh, were a bit more more hopeful or fantastical in that sense. Yes. Uh, I, I, Yeah, and I think that's one of the things I really like about them because there was episodes that were very, you know, they were more horror type centric, and, and then there was episodes that were very um, outlandish, and and you know they had the sci-fi aspect, they had uh, alien aspects, they had just really strange things going on. It was you know there was so much you know you could pretty much find an episode that that anybody uh, of of multiple tastes would would enjoy. Yeah, that that that's what, what I do remember about it, but again, that that, that was the one that I took away uh, mostly from the from my childhood. Uh, yep. I, I, I Same knew, with me. It, it wasn't the Twilight Zone or was it Tales from the Crib? I remember there was uh, an episode of a guy that was old but you know, but very rich, and he wanted to marry like some someone very young and. Uh, he found like a doctor that could like re uh, revivify him, like make him younger, but obviously it was at the expense of his fortune. And it's like they were replacing parts of his body with someone that was younger. And mm -hmm. it ended up being that he, he basically had the body of someone that he was not. And when finally he got younger and younger, the person that he was trying to court and looking their affection and all that, Ended up marrying the version of himself that was old but had the money. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. I think that's still from the creepy because it sounds more creepy than being a Twilight Zone it, episode. It, it, you know, what's funny is it sounds like it probably was Tales from the Crypt, but if 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 it was, and and from your description of it, it was probably an homage to a Twilight Zone episode um, because there was a Twilight Zone episode where. There was a, it was an older couple, and uh, I guess they were you know the the guy was in a lot of pain um, because he was older had a, you know had a lot of uh, you know his muscles uh, obviously were were in pain and and you know arthritis and all that other uh, other stuff and whatnot and they, they there was a uh, a company that was basically able to basically put your put you into a into a younger body. And it, and and it was set up like a mall kind of where they would walk in and you would pick who who you would want to be and they had all these different options you know quote unquote options of of, of younger people you know in their in their in their twenties and whatnot and then you could pick and 
but they i think if i remember correctly they could only afford it for one person they couldn't afford it for both people and the 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 because the guy was in so much pain they he ended up getting it done and then he ended up after the episode was over you know he wasn't happy she wasn't happy and he got it reversed so i'm not probably not getting all the details correct but that that reminded me of that episode so sounds to me like if if it was a tales from the crypt it was probably like an like an homage or based off of kind of thing it's funny that the concept of jude and we began talking about time space and <laughs> kind of in the same topic i guess if something had become a bit feasible in the extent of people being able to present uh, like genetic data on embryos and depending on the genetic material that is presented to the embryo, they can alter some of the characteristics that they want, like some genes that they want to favor so they uh, form and develop as the baby is growing. Mm. Yeah, like you want your baby to <laughs> to have like long hair or whatever. Oh yeah, I, I, I never yeah. have long hair, but they can alter the embryo and do a bunch of stuff. I don't... I, I do remember reading about something about like that. that. It sounded kind of odd. I mean, I guess... And, you know, to me, it's almost, it's kind of like, I don't know if I'd necessarily want to change nature's course, you know, so to speak. But uh, on the other side, I, I don't necessarily think that it's morally wrong. Uh, it's one of those things that people can fall on either side of the core because ob maybe the first thing that unfortunately people think of is the altering nature and uh, thinking that, oh man, you're not satisfied with obviously what is being given to you, but also if you're given a genetic disease or some congenital uh, defect that you can correct prior, uh, that would be very beneficial because, I mean, you don't, do, you don't want to be missing an arm or a leg or something, you know, when you're born. Yes. Kind of a deal if you're able to correct yes. that. Obviously, I'm giving an extreme, but thinking about the applications that will be more beneficial, but I guess people... Well, sure. We'll be thinking in the future, especially those that can actually afford it. Like, no, well, I, I want my baby to have blue, air, blue eyes or uh, green eyes or have perfect teeth and, you know. And, and that's probably a little vain, although, you know, I don't know if there's anything super wrong with it. But but on the flip side, it's probably, you know, because then you could maybe not eliminate, but at least you know because uh, I, I i i always really feel bad for people who are have you know disabilities mental disabilities you know specifically um if you can cut down or eliminate you know people being born with uh you know something like a down syndrome or you know people are born blind people are born deaf you know things of that nature that you can kind of uh correct uh correct yeah before hand maybe maybe there's a um, you know, a better quality of life for, for for those people, but you know that I'm sure there's other people that would go on the flip side and say, well, you know, that was the way that it was supposed to be. You know, you know, na let nature take its course, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I I'm not really sure where I where I stand on that. I believe you know, I, I believe China was the first to do something akin to that, an actual factual uh, recorded experiment on that regard. Right. I was with twins. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh, man. Yeah. It, it, it's funny. I, I, I Some of this thing, I would think only being sci-fi. I wouldn't see it feasible in the near future. But as time goes by, where exactly the present becomes the future? The, the present becomes the future. Like, oh, we, we're here. It's. Can you imagine? I mean, you, you think about the, the stuff that's progressed over our time and, and, and whatnot, and what it's going to be like, you know, when we're, we're, we're gone, you know, say 100, 200 years from now, how, how much is going to be uh, progressed. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's wild to think about it. it it's also kind of sad, I guess, to think about because I, I'd like to see it, <laughs> some of this stuff, but. Uh, that would be um, very cool. Yeah, no doubt. So. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just amazing just to see the progression that we've had, uh, you know, just in, in our lifetime. So it's, it's pretty cool. So <laughs> let's talk a little bit more about the about the new year here. So uh, we got a brand new year. How, how do you feel, how do you usually feel at the beginning of the year? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious because I, I, I kind of feel a certain way uh, for better or worse. But uh, how, how is your 
you know, emotional states, uh, so to speak, at the beginning of the year. We're really, we're really getting into this. <laughs> um, how can I, when I was younger, uh, there was a bunch of hope, like wonder and expectations, you know, yep. and in the past seven or eight years, maybe. Um, those hopes, expectations, and <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. How do I present this? <laughs> um, it's like just waking up to another day and things just move on and we move on and we just deal with it. Um, not in a pessimistic manner, just on a very grounded, I guess would be the word, um, as far as having in check what my expectations are and what I can achieve and at the end um, not to overcomplicate things or go on a very huge tangent is just thinking to myself uh, uh, the only thing that I can do is my best the best that I can do uh, with that I try to move on yeah yeah and that's a good definitely a good way to look at it um, you know from 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 my standpoint I, I don't get into do you get into any of the um, New Year's resolution stuff or anything like that I've thought about it in the past I think I never mm -hmm. uh, like materialize any sort of uh, new year's resolution I do think of maybe I should be more physically active or maybe I should start uh, you know learning a new instrument or stuff like that you know um, sure but I become more of a person that flows with it on my surroundings like <laughs> I, I go with the wave Yeah, dude. <laughs> But uh, I guess the waves of our surroundings and how everything is uh, moving forward. And I I just try to, I, I guess one of those things that people, talking again about psychology, like uh, if you set your expectation too high, then you're going to fall hard if you don't get them. And vice versa, if you're always setting your expectation low, then you don't evolve or move from somewhere because you're not challenging yourself. So it, it's sort of a, putting my expectations uh, at, at ground level and as I go, if I can, as I go, raise the bar and as I go, oh, I want to do this, then I do it. I don't wait for New Year's to kind of yeah. set up the, oh, I'm going to do this when the New Year's come and New Year, New Me. I never, I never been a believer of that, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'm with you there 100. I don't believe in any of that crap either. Um, you know, just, 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 just. Uh, it, like you said, if there's something that I want to do or something that I want to change, then I'm not going to wait until the new year to decide that that's when I'm going to do it. I'm going to just go ahead and give it a shot whenever I decide that that's what I should or shouldn't do. So, yeah, I agree. And and, and don't get me wrong, if if it works for some people and they want to set, you know, New Year's re resolutions and and follow them and it, and it helps their you know, process and it helps their routine or whatever. Hey, more power to them. And that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm the same way, same as you. It's just, uh, to me, it's just more like a, it's, it's kind of an, another day. You know, I usually get, uh, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I really enjoy the, the, the later end of the year. I like the, the fourth quarter is the, the, the time period that I enjoy probably the, the most, um, fall and, and winter, especially out here in Arizona where, You know, we don't get the crazy weather that we did back home in New Jersey during the winter. Um, and, and the summers here are so hot that, that it's, it, I don't look at it as, as much of an enjoyable season as you would, you know, back, back, you know, back home in New Jersey where, you know, oh, it's summer, you can go out and play. And, you know, that's time to go out and play you know, baseball and, 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 and sports and, and run around and stuff like that. But obviously also, You know, you think back and it's more the my mindset of, is going back to when I was younger and, and it's like, oh, well, no school. Right. So um, that's that's your that's your summer break. But, you know, I, I, as you know, we're adults now and uh, we don't get a summer break anymore. So what, what is a break? Um, what is a break? <laughs> well, we, yeah, we, embarrass, yeah, we get two days, two day break and that's it. So, you know, so, you know, I, I, so t typically after the New Year's, I, I kind of get a little bit down. You know, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit uh, depressed as far as, uh, you know, just it's like, oh, man, you know, you know, I got I got I got this whole year now. Uh, I got to get through to, to get to the to my favorite part part of the year. And then it's just, uh, you know, the whole 
usually you have some time off during the uh, holidays and then you get kind of get back into the routine. Well, you know, it's kind of nice because you usually have, you know, you got your your Thanksgiving and then you got your you know Christmas. So you got built in and then New Year's built in days off, you know, for, for two months. And now all of a sudden it goes back to now you don't get a day off for a long time. <laughs> so it's just that, that five and two routine, five and two, five and two, five and two. That 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 you kind of it's like man oh man I gotta get back to this, uh, but usually that doesn't last too long. So go you know go ahead. Uh, me thinking, um, I guess in the position that I've been in the quite past few months, putting it in contrast, it's a sort of a, when the new year starts, you're self evaluating yourself as far as the I guess you could call it the nostalgia because you just said the words like. Yeah, before it was like the holidays, like time off, and now it's going back into the grind and uh, having those things waiting on you and uh, what is expected of you kind of a deal versus you remembering that you didn't have all those expectations or responsibilities back when you were younger. So it's a sort of a self-evaluation, uh, even unconsciously, of who you remember who you were versus who you are now and kind of about keeping your structure I don't know would be the, the correct word as far as who you are as an individual and all that is sub subconsciously but it's coming to you uh, and me being without a job uh, in a month or two that's I guess one of the few things that I'm looking forward to the new year if you want to call it a new resolution <laughs> if there you I'm go. getting a new job but obviously discovering a bit of myself in that regard just, just that like self evaluation and Even if you don't think about it, it's just the fact that everyone around you is talking about their own resolutions and talking about the turning a new leaf and time for new opportunities. It's sort of a, I guess, a collective, the like the cells in a body, uh, all working toward toward something, uh, like communicating information to one another. Almost by transference, you're getting all that energy and. If you didn't have any awareness of time, of people telling you, hey, the, tomorrow is New Year, but if you didn't know what day of the year you were living in and the day came by and no one told you, it just would be another day, you know? It, it's something mm -hmm. that I so Who decided that it had to be 365 days? Who decided that, obviously, the, the whole rotation of the earth and how do you count the days and the cycles? Like, if you didn't know any of that, in a way, time is a construct, so... The very notion of uh, you constructing, I, I guess there's a lot to unpack there. If people are defecting what I just said, I'm doing it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking who decided I got to work five days. <laughs> that as well. That, that as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess I was rumbling a bit, but it's more so that, that notion of uh, what you just said, like getting down and that nostalgia, it, it, it's just that like you compare yourself. It's inevitable because people around you are influencing you to feel that way. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty wild to think about. Now, I, I did want to ask you because you and and you kind of alluded to it a little bit. Give me, give me three things that you're looking forward to this. Year. I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> Only one? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, so looking forward, I guess it would be a bit of a cop out or. I don't care if you want no. to call it lazy, cop out, or whatever. It's more so that just what I said earlier, I don't yeah. create myself with expectations. There are things that I want to do, for example. Like, yeah, I want to travel, for example. I want to go back to Arizona to visit some friends. Like, yeah, for example, or go back home to Puerto Rico eventually sometime. Or sure. Things that most likely I have in my to do list, I guess if you want to put it that way. Um, I'm not talking specifically about, you know, just yourself or things you want to do. I, I, it could be, you know, like there's something that like a movie that you're really looking forward to coming out or something like that, too. Kind of where my mindset was as well. Oh, well, movies, not so much, to be honest. <laughs> 2022 was a bit of a letdown for me, movie wise, um, at least for the ones that I was looking forward to. And I guess I'm going to 2023 with that mindset. Game-wise, I guess we discussed a bit when we were on the Game Awards as far as the games that we're expecting to come out this year. Oh, man. It, it, it's just like I said, I'm I creating, like, real, like, significant expectations, you want to call it that, of material sure. expectations as far as, like, you just said, like, movies or uh, video games or a book or TV show and all that. Yeah, but, but I don't... I don't 
like, oh yeah, I'm looking for Baldur's Gate or for the the uh, DLC for Elden Ring or uh, Armor Core or Hades 2. Yeah, those kind of things. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those. But aside from that, sure. I, it's more so of a t things to do that I kind of have to do and I definitely have to do. Like, for example, I want to move from states uh, currently I'm in South Carolina and uh, I'm looking forward to moving to somewhere else that doesn't require me to do like a hop trip just to get back home. It's kind of a ridiculous maybe in here on the East Coast and I have to travel 12, I have to do 12 hours of travel time, uh, hopefully eight to get back home when just a trip would be less than five, four hours. Right. Um, aside from that, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, I'm looking to get a new job and sort of a start up. That would be, I guess, a, a bit falling on the New Year's resolution, like getting a new job and starting a new career, a new path, and kind of going from there. Um, yeah, you could say it's a New Year's resolution, but I know you've been thinking about and working on that for a while now. Yeah, it's, it's more of a things that are ongoing and definitely being yeah. more physically active. Um, Aside from doing push-ups and working on dumbbells and all that, obviously I I, I barely done any sort of a hard cardio like long walks or hiking like I used to do back in the day. Like I I let that go to the wayside in a way. Sure. Um, so that that would be a bit of a my response to that. I, like I said earlier, it might, it might sound like a cop out or or whatever you want to call it, lazy or no, or, not at all. But it's sort of a, where my mindset is at the moment. Yeah, no, no, not a cop out at all. And I uh, I put you on the spot a little bit too. So and how how about you? For me, you know, it, it, it's, it's I have three things specifically in mind that I'm definitely looking forward to this year. Uh, but uh, that but going back to what you were saying, as far as like. Uh, maybe things I want to do or, you know, maybe a new New Year's resolution-ish, if you will. Um, you know, I, I do want to drop a couple pounds. I, I You know, I've, I've gained some unnecessary weight that I don't don't want anymore, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to work on, on, on that. But that, that process started a couple months ago, really. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit more serious into it now. Uh, so, so that, that's a goal for me this year, but that's, but again, it doesn't really have anything to do with new year's. That, that's been, it's, it's, it's a goal. It would be a goal if it was in, if, if I decided I want to do it in March. Right. So job wise, I, you know, again, I, I made a change, um, you know, as you know, uh, recently, you know, that was kind of on my radar to, to look at making a change, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which way you want to look at it, <laughs> well, on that. From what I know, no, from, no. What, what I know well, well, from what I know, obviously, without getting too specific, I, I'm glad that you had the opportunity and from the sounds of it, I guess it was a, a good change. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to speak more to the career as far as getting out of IT. It doesn't look like that's going to be happening, you know, so because the, the new job, I, I'm not changing careers, but I did change companies. Um, you know, for, for uh, a different uh, different look, a different scenario, a different team, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, overall, at this point in time, I think it was a fantastic decision. And it was a decision that I was looking at. Make. I, I was thinking long hard uh, on it for a while. And, and, you know, my whole plan was starting to look really after the new year is when I wanted to make that change because, you know, that's probably when more companies are going to want to hire and you can probably – find uh you know maybe jobs a little bit easier and stuff like that um uh, but uh you know fortunately for me uh this opportunity came about uh you know in december time frame so it was a little bit of a different uh kind of time frame to start you know right around the holidays and stuff like that but uh you know so 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 that's that's done and uh, accomplished so uh but if i was gonna pick so uh, you see and i'm gonna pick three things that i'm really looking forward to this year that are more of a uh there, there, it's not, not, not self. It's just like stuff that, that, that I like that I'm looking forward to. Um, Street Fighter Six, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. So, you know, not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. That I'm, I'm really looking forward to that because, first of all, it looks awesome. Second of all, it's been super enjoyable that that now I have you know somebody you specifically to to play the fighting games against and not just get romped on. Uh, online by people and uh, you know i didn't really have anybody else that would play the fighting games with me um and uh, unfortunately you romped me a little bit too much to my liking uh, well, i mean I, I, I was gonna say you're, you're looking forward to the fire things like for 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 beating me down or 
No, no, I'm, no, get, I'm just looking to get to get <laughs> back, to get yes, back at me. Yes, I am. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly right. No, no, I'm just I'm just looking forward to it because it's it's you know I I, I think we 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 should have a good time playing it. It's it's a new game. It's been uh you know been working on for a while and it's 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 long overdue. I, I'm looking another. Forward, I'm looking for. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm looking forward to it as well. Like definitely, I, I was, I'm not a huge fan of Street Fighter Five. I I, I play it, you know, but. I don't have the same passion about it. Like I, I don't like the mechanics that they introduce on, on this same. generation. The I'm not a fan of the graphic to be quite honest. Um yep. it, it feels a bit sluggish um to my liking. And I guess because I haven't put the time, you know, like going to training mode and getting like the combos and everything worked out is it's yeah. not, the, not the same, and yeah, you could play the same characters as, as all like your quote unquote real scans and all that. But I, I'm the kind of car- guy that if you present me with a roster of over 30 characters, I want to try them all and I want to sure. be at least decent <laughs> with all of them. And it, it doesn't feel like that way with me with the 3 Fire 5. With 6, uh, the, the roster looks fun, the designs they've done look fun, the graphics look cool, the Missing gameplay of people testing out the, the new mechanics looks super awesome. Uh, yeah. And yeah, actually, I'm, if you want to call it that, like things that I'm looking forward, that might be definitely one of them as well. Yeah, that's definitely one of them that I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, there's there's more that, I'll, that I'm looking forward to game wise, but I picked that one specifically just because, um, you know, we've been having a ball just playing uh, uh, the fighting games online and, 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 you know, I'm just looking forward to, and it's also going to be pretty cool because you know we're going to be both starting up from scratch. But we did we did with Grand Blue as well, but uh, um, you know it's it's you know it's just starting up from scratch. It looks like there's a lot of a lot of stuff to it, so that's pretty cool. So another thing, another another uh, piece of media that I'm looking forward to is uh, Oppenheimer. So I'm a huge uh, Christopher Nolan fan. Love Christopher Nolan, my favorite director, and he his latest movie will be coming out this year and it's called Oppenheimer. It's about a Manhattan project about the, the nuclear bomb test. And, uh, it was, it's even more interesting because when I was in Vegas, I, I, I go to Vegas every year to go see the devils play the, uh, golden Knights. And, uh, I have a buddy in Vegas that, uh, that, uh, I usually, um, uh, meet up with and we go to see the game. And, uh, uh, last year we went, I went, my parents came as well. And, we had some time, you know, before because we went up there like a day or so early. So we had some time, and we went to the nuclear bomb, uh, the atomic bomb museum in Vegas about all the testing and stuff like that. And it was really, really interesting. Um, and then, you know, obviously, you learn a lot about you know Oppenheimer and just all all the different things and and whatnot. So it, it really, and I, I already knew, you know, no one was making this movie, but it piqued my interest even more so um, just by going and seeing the real. Uh, you know the the real world kind of uh, you know Facilities. stuff that they had yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah th- that and just the, the real the real the artifacts you know and the and the history behind it and whatnot so I'm I'm really looking forward to that because you know I I, I love Christopher Nolan and, I, and you know part of me is like oh man that sounds like a kind of a boring movie that he's making I wish he was going to be making something else that might be more exciting but I anything that he's made I I really enjoyed so. Um, that's that's an interesting movie to look forward. Uh, I wasn't not until very recently that I found out about this one, and there's a lot of star power behind this one. Like you got Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Gary yes. Oldman, Rami Malek, yes, Cillian Murphy. It, like, dude, it's like, a heavy thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's jam packed. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I know what I like about um, Nolan is he's very particular in in the way he makes his movies. He's very he, he's very acute when it comes to details and he and it's going to also be interesting because he does m- most all his movies he does the majority of his practical effects so he, he tries to stay away from cgi so it's going to be real interesting to see how they handle a lot of that stuff but you know from a i don't know how it's based off a book so uh, you know so you know I, obviously we know in these motion pictures that they take liberties and whatnot and they're not necessarily to be taken as like a documentary which i'm not expecting to be a documentary per se but I, i'm i'm expecting it to be you know at, at least fairly accurate as far as the portrayal of 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 the way things happen so uh that that should be real interesting to me 
So the last one, the last thing that I'm looking forward to is uh, Avenged Sevenfold's album should be coming out this year. Oh, it's coming they're, out this year? It should be. It was either supposed to come out at the end of last year, which obviously it didn't, or uh, the beginning of this year. Now, I haven't heard any news on it. Um, they haven't. They've been very quiet on it. But it got delayed, obviously, because of COVID, um, because they wanted to fly overseas to do some orchestra work. Dude, uh, I remember we were talking about this when we yeah. went to, we went, one time that we went out to eat or something, or we were in the office when we were working still in, in Arizona. And I remember you talking about this album, and that's the same album? It, it has to be, because um, their, uh, the stage came out in 2012. Yeah, it's been they've been working on it for 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 quite a long time now, and uh, I I know that they were they I think they finished recording and I know they were going into editing was the last news I heard. So obviously it didn't come out the end of last year. So hopefully we hear something pretty soon. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So um, obviously as you and everybody knows, my favorite band. So um, anytime they come out with some new music, I'm 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 there day one and uh, really looking forward to it. And and also it's it's pretty cool because. Um, you know, so these, you know, the, these bands, Christopher Nolan, the video games that they, these don't come out every year, you know, so it's kind of cool when you get into a new year and you get some stuff that not doesn't come out on a regular basis that you can look forward to because you know, obviously the movies take a long time to make um, from a specific director. The band doesn't pump out. They typically don't pump out albums every year and, and uh you know they're not they don't pump out street fighter games or, or whatever most of these most of the big games they don't come out you know every year so you know i, I also get excited for like maybe when a console is going to release and you know and that that doesn't have that happens what once every what five six seven years or whatever so 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 these kind of years are, are pretty cool to me when it's when you can look forward to uh uh some some stuff that doesn't come out all the time that's interesting. Maybe I've been kind of a disconnected. I don't know where to call it because uh, I'm the kind of a person that I see something. Oh, cool! Uh, uh, they're releasing an album. Oh, this movie's coming out. But I guess I set down my expectations a bit. I, I guess because I set up my expectation high before, and oh boy, <laughs> crushing down, crushing down. <laughs> you know. And I. Yeah, and a hundred percent, and I'm like that for most everything, except for there's certain things that I really just, you know, I just absolutely love uh, Event Sevenfold. So, you know, I I, I love Crystal Nolan's work. Uh, so when they like, like when the when um, the Dark Knight Rises was coming out in 2012, I was like, you know, I was all hyped up. You know, there's certain things I get uh, all, all hyped up for, uh, specifically, and. Uh, but you know, like you said, for the most part, it's like, oh yeah, another movie's coming out. And, you know, maybe maybe some of it has to do with the the saturation from uh, Marvel. You know, they're pumping out movies like it seems seeming like every couple of months. Not only uh, not only movies, but series as well. And it it, mm -hmm. got, it it got a bit, especially this last Phase Four. I guess if we we get into that talk now, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's one of those things that really let me a bit down. I guess. I was setting my expectations too high, especially coming from Infinity War and Endgame, sort of a chapter that we're kind of wrapping it up there. And me coming from being a long fan of comic books since I was very young, like, uh, I don't want to sound like very hipster, like, oh, now everyone's a comic book fan, you know? <laughs> that obviously, right. I don't want to be the uh, typical gatekeeper that doesn't allow people to enjoy a new medium. No, like, I'm, on the contrary, like everyone come come along and enjoy it. But it, it sort of felt that there was more so of an agenda without direction uh, as far as the series and movies go. That it wasn't what I was expecting. They using titles or alluding to events in the comics and they know that the fans from the medium out of themselves know uh, as far as the story but obviously make a twist and it's good that they make a twist and made an adaptation but it ends up being more so alluding to certain uh, sectors maybe or people that weren't originally involved with the medium and you're pushing away the people that were origin the original consumers out of it. And again, I don't want to sound like a gatekeeping or anything, but obviously it's less appealing to me at the moment because of what they've done in the previous series and movies. And uh, I tried to keep up with the series. I, I had to drop them, the movies. I 
So I guess the first two that they released this year, uh, the Multiverse of Madness and Tour, and I said uh, no more. I'm having watched like <laughs> any other movie. I think the last movie that I liked was the Spider-Man one, like uh, No No Way Home. No Way Home, uh, yeah. For me, it was fantastic, but I guess there was a lot of nostalgia involved on that one as well. I guess at this point, uh, it, it, it wouldn't yeah. be. I think it wouldn't be spoilers at this point. I guess it would be a spoiler warning for people if they haven't seen it, but obviously bringing all the other uh, characters from all their movies, from the uh, Sam Raimi and the Andrew Guy Friel, uh, uh that, that was fantastic as well. Uh, I really put a very impact as far as feeling very multiverse, and I guess what they really wanted to achieve on this phase of the MCU. Uh, all the other stuff that they've done for presenting characters or concepts have been very convoluted. Like the stories out of themselves had a need to be a continuation or connected to the other movies and not stand alone as a good movie out of themselves. The only movie that for me felt that it was good out of itself without the need of necessarily being connected to everything else happening in the uh, universe of Marvel, uh, while well, the Spider-Man one, the, all the other ones felt a bit forced to my taste, I guess. Yeah, you know that's a, that's interesting, and I I don't want to go too deep into it because I I, I kind of want to have a specific um, um, conversation, cast a conversation about this topic specifically, especially when you can compare it to like the the um, DC universe as well. Um, not that their stuff has been fantastic, but uh, you know I, I think we can take take a look at some of the pluses and and minuses of having everything connected as far as what what Marvel has done as far as um, you know it's it's pretty impressive and it's also it's pretty awesome that they've done it. But also, you know, how much does it really how, how much does it limit to what they're able to do because they still have to tie it in you know with everything else. So I, I think that can make for for uh, you know, an interesting conversation. Oh, well, we can definitely get into it, but I guess those were uh, some of our expectations or how we receive the new year. If um, I, to be quite honest, I'm looking forward to not only uh, having more conversations and hopefully people engaging, I guess, a bit more if we were able to attend to something that people really wanted to hear us talk about or discuss, uh, do let us know. Uh, we, we'll be happy to see your comments or your ideas. Of- yeah, definitely. Let us know. I mean, what if there's some stuff that you want us to talk about, if there's stuff that you don't want us to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> don't t- don't talk about P- F- Street Fighter 6. I hate fighting games. <laughs> fighting games. Yeah, yeah. You know, if there's some stuff that we could do better, let us know. Um, so if there's stuff that you guys like, then uh, let us know as well so we can keep doing it. So, yeah, no, most definitely. It's uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, another another good year, you know, and, and, and enjoying time with, uh, with everybody. And, and uh, hopefully... Hopefully, I can uh, beat Alan a little bit more in uh, fighting. <laughs> you're, this you're, year. You're, you're saying like if if, if uh, some, something overwhelming that I beat you all the time or something. <laughs> well, we we well actually I'm not doing too good because we played on what Sunday, uh, so we, we we already played this year and uh, I didn't do too hot. Well, I started off pretty good. I ended up ended up pretty pretty bad. So. Uh, I gotta make a comeback here. <laughs> uh, we, we'll talk more, I guess, about our matches, or maybe we actually we can get a bit more into if people would be interested in seeing us like actually live recordings or something about. Do let us know yeah. well, if you would be interested in that sort of thing. It is more yeah. of a podcast, so if you're listening on Spotify, Apple, or any other of those uh, uh, platforms, most likely. You don't know our YouTube channel. We also got a YouTube channel. And I guess if we post anything regarding recordings or gameplay footage, I guess we will do so there. And if we do so, I guess we will make sure to announce it if anyone will be interested. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. If people want to see, then uh, then let us know. And, uh, you know, we can either live stream or do some recording of, of some matches and uh, and uh, see, see if people can... Uh, no, then then they're gonna start critiquing our play, which is that's gonna be tough, man. Nah, it's yeah, be tough. And <laughs> this guy is not not doing uh, anti air. So he, he's not punishing. Yeah. He's not punishing. He had a he had a, a plus three frames on that on that block, and he didn't he could have advantage he could have killed him in, in with a fourteen hit combo, and he only hit him two times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's the way it goes. <laughs> Do you have any uh, any other comments about the new year, Alan? Oh, I'm 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 pretty good with that. I'm I don't know. Nice. 
Yeah, no, I mean, that that's great. You know, so, uh, you know, I want to thank everybody for, for listening and, and uh, um, you know, glad glad we're back doing this and uh, after a little bit of a break. And uh, please look forward to some, some more content coming very soon. Very soon. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Enjoy.